Yeah, I know what you mean, mate. Like, yeah. Proper job plays, mate. It's outside, well, somewhere, mate. Have a holiday in, I think it is, mate. Having a piss up, mate. Having a piss up. I think it's getting a police. And proper. Well, these dickheads, mate, have put me on the weak shit. They've got like super 9% alcohol, mate. And I've got like a Sam Meagle, mate, like 5.4%. And I'm just like. That's fucking piss, mate. That's fucking piss. It tastes like, you know, it, and I'm probably like the one that probably can out drink both of these two. And proper, even, even that seagull there, mate. Even Mr. Seagull Mego over there, Sam Mego, can out drink you if he wanted to. But he knows he's better than you, so he's not even going to put the point to you because he's more mature than us. Well, mate, I think he's really drunk his, and I'm still drinking mine. It's not like we've got some people there on puberty over there having a shout about their weed. Are they having sex in the bush? That's what it fucking sounds like to me, mate. <laughs> Dirty bastards. I feel well important with my San, San Neagle, mate. I feel really important and privileged with this because yeah, I'm like the doing. only one, but like I'm the only one that actually can sit here and actually take a privilege and, you know, Drink it. Start chatting shit after you've had a couple of swigs of a beer. I don't start chatting shit after a couple of shit, but I've always drunk half that, actually. Oh, it's my storyline getting on, anyway. Don't know how your storyline for your thing's getting on, man. I'll just sort it out later on. There you go, you started, have you? I have sorted, man. I just haven't been... I haven't been technically with it. Fair enough. Fair enough, mate, yeah. Hey, look, we've got tourists, mate. Oh look, we've got Saddam Hussein in France, very ready, ready to go in like probably bomb Plymouth or something. So I don't understand how you can get jealous of us walking downtown with a beer in our hand. Did I say jealous? jealousy? It's not. I'm not jealous of obnoxious, mate. It's just like I can't do that around town like, because it's like you can act like a twat video recording yourself in front of loads of people. Nah, it's just like if I drink my beer down the town, I get some. I get some. You know, I get some dodgy. Dozzy geezer come up to me, that's my drink now, and take it off me. And I haven't got my alcohol, that's it, I'm like, I cry like a little baby, mate. It's like one of the only things that I used to job when I was a child as a comfort. I used to, I, right, my old man, mate, he used to, he, he was a legend, right, and he used to give me all these drinks, right, because he believed that it would make me a much stronger person when I got older, and I'd be like, like immune to drinking, and I am immune to drinking, but in a fair degree. <laughs> Well, I am, mate. Like, I've drunk half this bottle already, mate, and it's like, it's quite high. It is 5%, and I'm not even paralytic or anything. I actually feel quite fucking sexy at the moment, to be fair. <laughs> no, I do actually, mate. I, I, I could now, mate. But honestly, man, no, no, no. If you, give, if, you, if, you, if you put me next to an 18 year old prostitute now, mate, I will show her the best time that she's ever had. Yeah. Have you shagged a prostitute in Plymouth yet? No. Tell you, they are the best, mate. They are the fucking best, mate. I'll tell you what I like. I like, this date. I like this dirty little minx called Veronica. She's blonde, mate. She's got a twin sister. Both of them look like slats, but who gives a shit, you know? Is that, is that students? French students. French students, mate. Bonjour, Jim Appel, Mugsy. I'm not sure. I think they could, bro. No, they look French, mate. Oh, no, they're fucking English. Are they English? Oh, damn. English. That's it, mate. Have you ever tried, have you ever tried chatting with the French students, mate? No, trust me, mate. If you've got to do to a French student is say bonjour, and they'll drop the knickers to you and put the knickers in a twist and, stick, and you can stick your up there. No, no, like no. That, I, mate. Know, I think bonjour means hello, not chuck the knickers. I know it does, it means bonjour, and you drop your trousers. There you do it, mate. Okay, what else we've got coming here? Look, he's going to hit the bus, is that bus going to hit the car? <sighs> I'd be carnage, that would be, mate. So like, what else we've got going on here on the hoe today, man? There's not a lot going on, really. Yeah, the we've last got. Best of last. What's the best of last, mate? The best of How much percentage is that? It's the same as what we're doing. Yeah. Fucking hell! He has that, mate. He's giving me paralytic Alan, mate. <laughs> well, once you pass that. They're learning you to drive. You have to ha actually have a motorbike license before you can actually take the L plate off the bike. Yeah, I know. Because you're not allowed that. You can one. take it off the plate, mate. You still need the green P on that. No, man, you can take it off the plate. 
What? You can take it off. Take what off? You can take the P off. What, you can take and the, the L off as well. Take the knickers off the bike. It's not like it's super glued onto the bike, is it? Yeah, and then all of a sudden... No, okay, nothing YouTube, against trannies, we'll but... Like, we didn't do that, did we? <laughs> nothing against them, though, but I just don't prefer having a dick, I don't prefer having a dick up my ass, you know? Mm -hmm. No, you prefer chickens instead, right? I prefer chicks, yeah, definitely, mate. <laughs> just had a beer, mate, and I'm not drunk at all. I am not drunk in any form or dissertation at all. I am perfectly sober. I am not intoxicated or deprived from <clears throat> real... Abilities in any way. Huh? Are you feeling alright? You're chucking your rubbish in the bin. <laughs> See? And people say that we set a bad example for a younger generation. And we don't because we we're kind, we're honorous and we're generous. We will offer you a beer if we see you. We will also give you a nice big spliff if you really wanted one. Talk about contradicting yourself. Condom. Make sure you don't ask me because I ain't got the money for it. <laughs> condoms. Do you say condoms? Condom to dick. But I haven't got. I haven't got any, mate. Do you know? It's... Yourself. Go down to the Yes Centre. I think it's a Yes Centre. They give you free condoms there. And <laughs> wow. <sighs> What's that? What? That's a spot on the end of your nose, isn't it? <coughs> is that what there? you're talking about? Is that? Yeah, is that no, what you're talking no. about? I thought that's what you're talking about. <laughs> but I got a spot at my end of my nose. To be honest with you, you're actually growing you a beard. A <laughs> you're actually growing a beard on your nose, mate. Look all that white fluffy hair on the end of your nose and shit, mate. You need to cut that off. You might want to burn it off, not cut it off. Got a lighter? It grows back stiffer. You got a lighter?